हाय गाइस माय सेल्फ अनिल कुमार पाटिल आई एम एस ए पी एम एम कंसल्टेंट सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग दिस न्यू वीडियो सीरीज फेयर आई विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग एस एप रिलेटेड वीडियोस सो टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो इन दिस टॉपिक आई हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स इन फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो इंक्लूडिंग द इंट्रोडक्शन द कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो द कॉमन इशूज इन फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो and tips to troubleshoot the uh, problems in flexible workflow so how uh, the focused on these things so the first thing is what is flexible workflow in the new sap s4 hana they have introduced the new thing called flexible workflow whether it may be a requisition a contract sales order purchase order specifically designed to approve in a fiori so this is the uh, main functionality of flexible workflow whereas a uh, standard uh, sap release procedure that is uh, specifically approved in gui both cannot be approved in uh, gui or in fiori systems so that is the key difference so these are some of the configurations in flexible workflow uh, so let's see one by one the so the first step is identifying the workflow number Uh, so let's say you are doing a configurations for a uh, purchase requisition so uh, you can easily get the uh, workflow number from the sap health portal or you can get it in the configurations level also so these are the some of the uh, workflow number step id task id uh, some of the things are listed here so i will explain each one of them in a detail workflow number step id task id so these three are very important in flexible workflow configuration so um, i will show you how to identify the step id and task id so you have to open the t code called swdd scenario so this is the workflow configuration t code where you can check whether the workflow is activated or not the whole functionality of the workflow so all you can check in swdd scenario t code so in this uh, t code uh, you can see here in navigation area so uh, steps are maintained here so 19 is there right so this is the step id so uh, you have to note down this number so the next thing is our uh, task id so you can see here so this is the task number so step id and uh, task number so these two are very important in flexible workflow configurations so the next step is uh, maintain standard settings so for this one uh, you have to go to olme uh, purchase requisitions maintain standard settings so here um, you have to inform to the basis person so they will uh, activate all these things so the next step is client specific configurations so in this step we need to add the task number uh, which we got in swdd scenario right so we have to add the same task number in sw uh, so in this client uh, dependent configurations we just have to maintain the task number here that's it so the next step is activate workflow scenario so uh, whether it's a requisition contract or a purchase order specific to that path you have to activate that scenario so you just have to go to that activate scenario path then you have to add the workflow number then click on active so in this step this is these are all the configurations so the next step is activate uh, activate for required document type so uh, whether you want to activate it for document type or whatever the selective parameters are there so for that one uh, you have to activate it i want to activate it for uh, some of the document types so i have clicked on uh, overall uh, release active so this i have done the next step is uh, so in swdd scenario uh, so if workflow is not active so in that case so there are some steps you need to follow so you can see here uh, the workflow is active so if this is not active so you have to do this things so you can go to swe2 t code so in this uh, we need to maintain some standard parameters from the swdd scenario so uh, swdd scenario that is the main uh, configurations for flexible workflow so you will get all the uh, details uh, from that t code so you can see here uh, so i have maintained a uh, cl abap class uh, object type event uh, receiver type so all this you will get it in swdd scenario so this you have uh, you will get all the details from swdd scenario and um, here make sure linkage is activated and enable event queue so these two are checked so then only your workflow will be active if it is not active make sure these two are activated so the next step is if this agent assignment is not active so this agent assignment should also be active if this is not active so you can follow these steps 
so you can go to the t code called OOCU so then uh, click on perform task specific customization so then uh, you can find here uh, other different types of modules so uh, as of now uh, we are doing the configuration for purchase requisitions so then uh, I will go to MM then um, MM purchase requisitions then you can click on agent assignments okay so after that uh, so here uh, for the specific task ID so you have to remember the task ID that's what I said task ID step ID so those two are very important in workflow configurations uh, so the task ID which you bought in SWDD scenario so for that specific task ID you have to make sure click on this attributes then make sure it's a general task and click on transfer so that that you have to make sure then so you can see now it is active so then the next step is maintain decision options so uh, some will be doing all the configurations you, uh, but we observe that approve and reject buttons are not coming so the reason is that we have not yet maintained the decision op options so for that for that the the path is so it's a ABAP platform then uh, content workflow settings so here we need to maintain the uh, maintain uh, task names and decision options so you can copy uh, the standard one and uh, you can see here workflow ID and step ID so if you maintain these two then only the, your approve and reject button will be visible in Fiori so for this flexible workflow HCA module is mandatory so where uh, the employees are get created in PA40 decode so there we will assign the ESAP users to that employee so that's where we will assign the users and the same will be determined in flexible workflow and if you don't have a HCM module so you can determine the approvals using baddie so these two options we have the next step is uh, custom workflow in a uh, fiori so so uh, now we have completed most of the configurations in GUI so we have to move to the Fiori so we, we have to uh, log into the Fiori uh, launchpad then uh, we need to search the app called uh, manage workflow for requisitions whether in your case it's maybe a requisition or a contract or a, a purchase order for that one you have to uh, copy the standard one uh, you can see here automatic approval of purchase order is there right so you can copy that and your, uh, you can create your own uh, workflow so make sure uh, only one workflow uh, is active or uh, depending upon your requirement uh, all other uh, workflow uh, you set it as inactive so I have copied the standard workflow and here uh, I can configure it for uh, for which document uh, this uh, flexible workflow should be triggered so uh, I have selected one document type and you can see here steps so in these steps the number of approvals will come let's say I have a one approver or two approver so those two approvers we need to add it here the first level of approver then the second level of approver and you can also configure for the first level of approver there will be two approvers either of them can approve so the in this also be configured in workflow so uh, only thing is uh, either one of them can approve so that option will be there in the, this configuration you just have to tick that or else uh, both the approvers uh, uh, should be approved so that also you can do in a only one step also then uh, can select the next step uh, after setting the approvers uh, you can also set the deadlines uh, let's say uh, you can set the deadlines for three days after three days you can send the reminders also so there is separate uh, configurations for uh, reminders if uh, purchase order is not approved for three days you can say you can um, trigger the email notification also in the standard uh, uh, we have some standard templates we can use that and we can do that so uh, then we we have uh, action results so restart workflow i have selected means if workflow is rejected at the first step then uh, what should be the action of the workflow whether it should stop or it should restart so what should happen so for that one uh, we we need to select here restart workflow means if the first approver is reject, is rejected so then again it will uh, it will be uh, coming to him only so he is the first approver right so he has to approve it so um, uh, so this is the step for that configuration uh, so now we have done most of the configurations so we have to create the document so i have created the purchase requisitions uh, you can see uh, the workflow is triggered here so then uh, to approve this i need to go to the sap fiori so uh, where i can find the workflow in my inbox 
so my inbox is the app uh, so in that uh, we can see all the workflows so uh, here we can filter uh, the the type of documents uh, whether it's a requisition contract invoice all those things uh, we can filter here so uh, the buttons here uh, the first button is approve and reject to approve and reject you can use these buttons then show log so in show log uh, who all are approved who all are rejected so all those kind of information we can check in logs then claim so claim is uh, let's say you have uh, two approvers so and uh, either one of them can claim it for the first release only there are two approvers if one clicks on claim means only he can approve it it's like uh, i will take care of this purchase order so it's take uh, it's taking the responsibility so then forward so if uh, that approver is on leave so then uh, they can forward this to another person then suspend suspend means it's keeping it on hold for some days if you click on suspend it will ask uh, um, uh, up to how many days you want to suspend this purchase order so then um, uh, you can select the date then um, uh, till that it will not appear in your inbox but in case if you want to approve that purchase order you have to go to my outbox so there is separate app called my outbox so uh, you can see the list of approved purchase orders so in the uh, my outbox uh, you can see all the uh, suspended held purchase orders then you can keep it on um, in your inbox also so uh, the last uh, the thing is uh, common issues in flexible workflow so approve uh, reject buttons are not visible in fury so for that one uh, the the issue will be you will not be ma maintain the uh, user decision options so uh, where we will be adding the workflow number and task array right so that will be missing so that is the reason for this one then our uh, workflow not triggering so uh, you can check you have done all the configuration but still the workflow is not triggering means we have the t code called swia so in that t code if you maintain the if you mention the task id or the document number or the date so you can get the list of all the um, workflows then uh, you can check the logs uh, so so this is the way uh, okay then uh, agent assignment issues uh, where uh, you will not be um, assigned the agents then um, peery suspend uh, so uh, so these are some of the issues so then if you are getting uh, custom attributes like this means uh, we can contact uh, the abapper where uh, uh, some old data will be missing um, uh, so this uh, this was one of the problem which occurred to me so that's why we need to maintain those things here so then uh, tables to check the status of the flexible workflow so these two are the table to check the flexible workflow where we need to maintain the task id workflow number then other uh, the document number if you pass all those details we'll get who approved uh, what is the status all those things we'll get with this ticket so if you have any doubts please comment below i will try to answer so thanks for watching this video please subscribe and share the video so where i will be sharing more sap related and useful videos thank you